Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 125 of my No GPS series. And in this one, we're taking some plows up to Lamar, Colorado. Let's get into it. So we left off loaded at the Cargill. You need to come out of here, hang a left, hang a right on US 54, I believe this is. Either way, hang a right at the Swift or that first major intersection. And then we're gonna hang a right on whatever this road is. Should be the first right, but I have fuel stop on the left. And then we're gonna take a right on Oklahoma 3, US 412, US 64. One would assume that's marked very well. And then we're gonna take that over to here and continue on Oklahoma 3, which is then 385, 287. Once we get into Colorado, we're just taking that straight up to Lamar. This appears that it widens to a four lane, and then we're gonna want our first right and basically follow to ADM. So everybody got that? We're basically coming out of here, coming down here, over and up. We shall see. And if you're just joining for the first time, there's the plows, that's all I'm saying. I've said enough about the plows. All right, let's reset that. There we go. Also, here's the load info, 6,000 pounds. All right, now I need to get out of here without hitting anything. was successful so far. This is going to be kind of a dumb question, but y'all had one of those days where you just don't feel like doing anything. Yeah, that would be today for me. And I don't know why. I, I mean... Um, sorry, that confused me. We want this right. Yeah, I don't know why. I slept well. Um, and I didn't get to bed that late. I, it was like one in the morning. I, so I guess it was like an hour later than I've normally or recently been going to bed. splitting these gears with this light alone habit I guess but yeah anyway and then I uh, I didn't get up to like 9 and it's 11 okay so we need this right Alright, that's a fuel stop on left. Oh, I did right first right fuel stop on left. <laughs> I mean, I actually feel better just sitting down and, and forcing myself to record. But I, that was the other thing. I sat down to record and I was just like... Sitting here. And then I was finally like, just hit record and let's go. And here we are. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed in my head because I haven't done some things since I've been back from our South Dakota trip. Like I haven't washed the Jeep, which I need to. Should probably mow again as well. Okay, 
now that we're on this, we need a right on Oklahoma 3, 412, US 64. Something tells me that that's going to be coming up here. I'll be damned actually following the truck route. Yeah, I don't know where I was in that conversation, honestly. Uh, I just know it's been one of those days. Uh, I'm currently out of cigarettes, so I'm. that's the other thing I'm fighting with, whether or not I mean, I do want to go get more, but I also don't. That could be part of it too, because I feel overwhelmed in my head, and when I get overwhelmed like that, I just... My body's reaction is to just shut down. Okay, now we're gonna need a right on Oklahoma 3, US 412. No, that's what we're on. Um, Oklahoma 3, we don't want that one, that's 136. Basically, we're gonna stay in Oklahoma 3. This will eventually be a right into US 385 and 287. Possibly a Lamar, Colorado sign. Six East. No, that wasn't. I'm starting to second guess myself. So this is where we need to turn, right? Yeah, 287 to Denver. But in true fashion, I have to go to this freaking scale. I hate stupid shit like this. I hated it in real life too. It's the dumbest damn thing. Because the shitty part is they know even though if I'd have taken a right, I mean, you can get in trouble in real life, too. Where the hell is the way station at? Oh, over here. Haven't had to go into a way station in how long? And where the hell...
I'm hoping that registered. If not, I'll get the money sound saying I got fined at some point. Okay, so now we need to go back out of here. I almost want to pull up the map and verify, but... F it. North. It just says 287, but on the map it was, well, 93 to Lamar. On the map it was Oklahoma 3, US 385, and 287. Okay, so basically we're on this and a Lamar. This should widen to a four lane, and then we want the first right. if the map was, or I'm reading the map correctly, I guess would be the proper way of saying that. And we should see a welcome to Colorado sign here shortly. Oh, look at me go. It's right up here. Welcome to Colorful Colorado. And this is the first time being in this state in this series. Sign's confusing. Does that mean that there's a slow incident ahead or slow incident ahead? I feel like they were missing some punctuation. on the right are spinning a different direction or an opposite direction than the ones on the left. Not all of them, some of them. I'm just going to let it go though. I want to hop out to verify. 
that it's they're all facing the right way, but maybe they anyway. Just let it go, Ty. See, it's stupid shit like that that I notice and then it drives me nuts. But I really do want to go back and look. But I also don't, because if I am correct in what I saw, then it's going to bug me even more, so I'll just leave it alone. I'll pretend I never saw it, because I probably will not be down this stretch road again. For quite some time. If ever. Depends on what I do after this series. Okay, so I'm okay, it does go into four, all right. Look at me go. I was correct in, in reading that. And then I did say first right. Mm, I don't think it's gonna be this one though. I think it's gonna be the stoplight. I don't know. I have a feeling it was in fact that one there because it went off out into the uh, so let me see if I can go right here I can yeah I guarantee I'm not on the proper proper road right now. Can I hang a right? Is this a wall in front of me? Or a fence? It is. Can I go right? Well, I can. I can't because that's a barrier. Even though I have the no barrier mod in, it's not letting me go. Okay, so what I... I, I messed up because I do need to take that right. Or that if I would have followed what I wrote down the first right. So, I'm going to pull the map up to show you all where the hell I'm at. I took this right. I'm assuming we're probably right here somewhere. Is where that gravel road, or maybe it's off of this. So right there is where I'm hitting that barrier and can't go any further. So I just need to spin around and... If I would have followed my own directions that I wrote down. Alright, so we can shut that off. We can do this number. Do this number. Yeah, see that's Cargill right down there. And that's the road I want to be on. Now, I could fly over there and put myself there, but I'll just get down here away from the barrier. And then we'll continue like nothing happened. I mean, if I really wanted to mess with you guys, I could have flew back to the main road somewhere and and made a made a jump cut to make it seem like none of that ever happened uh, but that's not me I just noticed that front axles up and I haven't flipped a switch what in the hell is going on with this game Was that up before? I mean, it doesn't matter because of the weight. And honestly, in real life with only 9,000 pounds on the trailer, I'd probably run it like that anyway. All depends, but it's just weird that I haven't done anything. And but that's the game, that bug that they refuse to fix or maybe can't fix because they don't know how. 
which wouldn't surprise me that they just don't know how. Somebody took a corner too fast and lost some bales. Must not have been secured properly. Which one of these is ADM? Something tells me the one over here. That looks like that dumb ADM prefab and it's probably going to want me to park to the left of this building on the right here. Anybody want to bet? That's typically the hard parking spot. Did I nail it or did I nail it? Because that's definitely where you would unload flatbed equipment. Or anything. They'll have you park van trailers there as well. Cattle trailers. Whatever. They'll have you park it all there. And then I need to, because I'm in here wrong. See, and then this is the other thing. Not only do you have that, but then you have to come in here and spin around like this in order to get your setup right. So not only is it dumb, it's, uh, pain in the ass and completely unrealistic. Now, if you had like propane or something like that, absolutely, because that's a propane tank right there. All right, let's see how well I'm... Um... And ideally, you would be... Uh, you would want the nose of your truck up by the corner of that building, but see how they park that trailer there to make it so you can't. So I'm going to stay in this view, which is probably going to piss me off. Just FYI, because I'm going to have to run this camera so it doesn't take over and start doing stupid shit. Yeah, and the other thing is, I, for those that are like, damn, this guy bitches about the parking. And yes, I have random parking on. I get it. And I understand what they're trying to do. But could we just, you know, think about stuff just for a little bit? I also don't know what that screeching ambient sound thing is that they have at this prefab. What the hell that's supposed to be. Okay, now I, I already screwed this up. Yep. I mean, there's nothing around here to make that screeching prefab sound. But it's annoying as hell. Why did I just kill that? See how completely ridiculous they have this? Like, they have those doors there, too, so you can't... And then this camera wants to... And then a gas can that I apparently just ran over. And here's the thing, folks. If you're playing this game without, um, like, a parking mod, I think you get, like, 90 XP for all that bullshit. So I typically run a mod. I don't think I have it in this one, but it'll give you 1,000 XP for no matter what parking you have. But yeah, you go through all that bullshit, and then the game gives you a whopping 90 XP. Yep. 
Anyway, I told you in another episode that I could bitch about this game for a whole episode. I may do that sometime. Sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, Ty, shut up. Let's get unloaded. Also, so we can get rid of that annoying sound. Some people are like, well, you're annoying when you talk. Fair point. Got it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, our first city in Colorado is gone. And that is Lamar, which is number 176. If my math is correct, was that 16 we have left to do? I didn't see what time it was. My sim dashboard is telling me it's 11 something. I don't know if that was the time after I got unloaded though or not. So I'm not going to sleep. Let's see what's coming out of here. I was looking at this earlier. Ideally, what I'd like to do, and I can already see that it's not going to happen, because why would it? Where the hell is Sterling? All the way up there. But that's stuff just coming out of here. Ideally, what I'd like to do is hit Burlington, Sterling, and then Denver, Colorado, Springs, Pueblo, come down this way. Right, get down here to Durango, come up to Million Dollar Highway to Montrose, Grand Junction, swing around Fort Collins, and then up into finish off Wyoming. As a matter of fact, the only thing that's going to Colorado from here out of this ADM is Sterling, which is up there. And that's fine. I just need to come back to Burlington at some point or is there, I don't think I can get there without going through Burlington. Yeah. Okay. So let's close this. Holy shit. Come back here. Okay. Burlington. Beautiful. Coming out of the DFA. I'm all about some iron pipe. Okay, so the DFA is going to be over here. Right. Because that's where we were going to take that other load. It was either ADM or DFA. Well, I kind of shot myself in the foot because I was like, I want to go to ADM. Here, I should have went to DFA. All right, so let's take a quick gander at this. But we're going to basically come back out of here. So reverse back to main road is what I'm going to write. Reverse back to main, which is going to be this. 287. All right, and then we're going to follow that around. Pass away station, first left. Follow around curve, pass away station, first left. DFA on left. Well, hopefully we don't end up in Kansas. Okay, now I'm going to stay in this view because I am pretty sure that now that I'm unloaded, I bet you anything those tires are down. No, they're not. No, they are. They are down. So, okay, I just, I need to show you all this just because. And I may have showed it before. Um, gameplay, I believe it is. And then it's down here. Automatic drop of liftable axles. See how that's unchecked? So why the hell is it dropping them? And it's been like that. It's been a bug for a while, but yet they can't seem to fix it. And again, some of you are like, is it really that big of a deal? Yes, it is. To people that used to drive a truck that enjoy still playing this game and try and do it as real as possible, shit like that does piss us off. Well, it pisses me off. I mean, either fix the bug or make it so you can't have liftable axles in the game, period. There you go. But the real frustrating part of it is, is I have a button, I mean, on my button box, I have a switch for the trailer axle, right? Which is down because that's how it is right now. So now when I get loaded again, I'm going to double check if that goes up. Well, now I'm going to have to back out, flip my switch up. Come back in, put my switch down, then the trailer axle will go down. So then my button box is in sync with the see the pain in the ass it is. Just one of many things. in this game that needs to be fixed. But here's the other problem, and why a lot of this stuff won't be fixed. 
because if you follow the uh, American Truck Simulator group on Facebook or some other ones, there are a shit ton of people daily that have just got this game or whatnot, and uh, I'm not even going to go into some of the questions that are asked because I get everybody's new at some point, but holy shit. I was always told growing up that there's never, there's no such thing as a stupid question. <laughs> Hop on the internet, holy shit. And that's the other thing, like, that frustrates the hell out of me, is people will, will take the time to ask these questions when you could just type it into Google, the same thing, and get like a plethora of answers. Or maybe a YouTube video that tells you exactly how to do it. Or before asking your question, do a little research because, oh, I don't know, 25,000 people have asked that same question before. You know what I mean? I don't know. I get it. It's the internet and that's the way shit is nowadays. Sorry for the tangent. Where the hell am I? I think I have to follow a curve around to the left and then there's going to be a way station. And then it's our first left after the way station. Is that what I wrote down? Follow around curve, past way station, first left. Oh, look at me go. Yeah, and I get, I mean, I am. I'm just a disgruntled asshole, and that's, there's no way around it. But again, it's, it's a generational difference. Like, or generational differences, I guess. And I'm not trying to bash generations. It's just the way... That was some <laughs> that's some good hydraulics on that on that van. The funny part is the uh, the gates weren't even down. Oh, so the train comes barreling into town and then just goes. See, folks, stupid shit like that. And like this collision right here. Do they not have QA testers that test this shit? So what what caused that collision? Was it that the light started or that the arm was almost that was starting to come down? Cause the arm wasn't down when he went across. Anyway. Home Depot. <sighs> Do not remember that on the map. Main thing is I haven't seen a curve to the left. And by remembering the map, I, I shouldn't miss that. Uh, Ray Charles should be able to see that one. As a matter of fact, that's how obvious it should be. But yeah, anyway, back to the whole bitching thing. There there are days that I really wish I had my old Motorola Razor flip phone that had like T9 texting, didn't have a web browser. Um because I don't know how many hours I waste on my phone. And then God forbid if you open up that freaking TikTok app and start down that rabbit hole. But that's where we're at nowadays. I mean, just the the electronic devices just consume people. And that's probably why most of us are freaking brain dead and can't do anything by ourselves.
And yes, I included myself in there. I said most of us are brain dead. Okay, I saw a way station sign. I'm guessing this is the curve. Well, that says open, but was it not a pre-pass? Because I didn't get a beep. Oh, it's right up here. Yeah, well, that's good. I got a green light because... Anyway, something's off on that scaling. So we need first left right here. And I'm actually going to stick with that. Oh, and is that a DFA sign over here on the left with an arrow? It is. Even better. That's a lot of cattle. Well, actually, it's not that much. It looked like it was more from inside the, the cab. Yeah, apologies for not really having any structure to the uh, discussion in this video. But uh, as I said a couple videos ago, I'm, I'm done stressing about this shit. So I'm just going to sit down and hit record. If I have something to talk about or something pops in my mind, then uh, I'll mention it. Who knows, there may be a time that you hit click on one of these videos and I don't say a damn thing other than the intro and the outro. I have no clue, but I'm tired about, I'm tired of stressing about what I'm going to say or talk about. What's up there, W900? Where are we parking at? Oh, well, number one, Ty, you're not parking, you're loading, <laughs> and you need to be over here because that's where the trigger's at. Did I come in the wrong way? Or is this, this, this where the trigger's at? That... Never mind, Ty, don't. Stop, stop asking questions of how this game does shit because they don't even know themselves. Okay, so a couple of things. Is there more than one DFA? And then the other thing is how much time was on that load before it had to be picked up. There's ADM. That's the only DFA around Lamar, which means I apparently didn't get over here quick enough and that load is gone. So. Now I'm pissed. No other way around it. Um, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, it was. Take it out of gear. Are the brakes applied? No, there we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit right there and I'm going to sleep. And cross my fingers that there's something back to Burlington again. And it's going to be interesting editing to see, and there's nothing. Nothing at all coming out of here to Burlington now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been going on 44 minutes. I'm, I'm done. Anyway, folks, I will have it figured out for episode 126. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 125 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.